There is something powerful about being gentle. Gentle does not mean you're weak. It means you're wise. At least that's what the writer of Proverbs thinks when he said, a gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Or, as another translation says, a gentle response diverts anger, but a harsh statement incites fury. My grandfather was a coal miner who lived in western Pennsylvania. His was a harsh life. His body was like a rock, no fat, all muscle. His hands were huge and they were gnarly. And as a kid, when we made the 12-hour trek out to visit he and grandma each summer, when I saw him, he'd give me this great big hug and then he would tussle my hair with his hands. Uh, he would hurt my scalp. He didn't even know his own strength. But he was a gentle man, playful and full of love. Gentleness is the best course of action, even when everything in you wants to respond with snarkiness or harshness. Gentleness is what we need most when you've been attacked or misunderstood or wrongly judged. It takes great strength to not respond with fire and fury when you've tasted the fire and fury of others. Now, gentleness doesn't mean that you don't speak the truth. It does mean that you speak the truth courageously, but without an edge or an attitude. It doesn't mean not standing up for yourself. It does mean standing up for yourself without undue defensiveness. Jesus is our example of navigating the complexities of gentleness. He held babies in his arms and declared such is the kingdom of God. But you know, he also called out the Pharisees as a bunch of whitewashed tombs. Mark chapter 15, verse 5 says that Jesus stood before Pilate and was silent, meaning he didn't say anything to justify himself, and Pilate was amazed, knowing that he had the power to release Jesus, yet Jesus didn't say anything in his defense. Now, I'm sure you've heard the analogy that every person holds a bucket of water in one hand and a bucket of gasoline in the other. You have the choice every day in every conversation, whether it's at home, work, church, neighborhood, or grocery store, to put fires out with water or blow them up with gasoline. Choose gentleness. You know, we need more gentleness in our culture right now. It seems everybody feels empowered to rant and cast judgment on each other. But you should be the voice of reason. You should speak your mind, but do so respectfully and humbly. This is a great evangelistic moment for the kingdom of God. You know, you can actually lead people to Christ just by responding in a different way than the culture, in a Christ-like way. People are disoriented and scared right now you have the opportunity to share Jesus with them. And this is what holiness means. It means responding differently than the culture around us. So this week, be Jesus by being humble and gentle. Have a great week. God bless you.